In today's video, we're going to be talking about respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, and metabolic alkalosis. So let's start with respiratory acidosis first. So this is a situation where we have reduced rate of respiration in the body, and this results in increased amounts of carbon dioxide accumulating in the body fluids. And since carbon dioxide is stored as bicarbonate, or HCO3-, the increased amount of hydrogen ions results in this increased acidity by decreasing the pH. So there are various diseases which affect breathing like emphysema, asthma, and pneumonia, which can have the effect of respiratory acidosis because they cause a reduced rate of respiration, so carbon dioxide levels in the body increase. Respiratory alkalosis this is a situation where the rate of respiration increases, which means that the carbon dioxide is exhaled quickly and levels of carbon dioxide in the body reduce. Because of the lower amounts of carbon dioxide, we have lower amounts of the hydrogen ions from the bicarbonate and therefore the pH increases. Usually respiratory alkalosis occurs in situations where there is severe physical trauma or emotional anxiety which results in hyperventilation and therefore we have an increased rate of respiration. Low oxygen environments like high altitudes can also result in an increased breathing rate and therefore respiratory alkalosis. Metabolic acidosis, this is where we have high amounts of hydrogen ions in the body, but it's not due to a respiratory condition. So this could be in those who have untreated diabetes and have ketoacidosis. It can also occur in certain kidney diseases, and it can also happen in certain diarrhea cases because of an altered fluid balance. So symptoms of metabolic acidosis can be headaches, palpitations, abdominal pain, muscle weakness. A key symptom which can occur is known as Kussmaul's breathing. And this is a deep and rapid breathing pattern which sounds like this. His, uh, his breathing is really what we kind of call Kuzmar breathing, and when you, when you uh, smell his breath, it, it basically has a uh, very sweet kind of a acetone, ketone sort of odor to it. Uh, so he's getting, his, uh, um, getting a little fluid bolus of 20 per kilo, and then we're going to also give, start him at 0.1 units per kilogram per hour of, um, of insulin, and he's going up to the intensive care unit. And uh, his, uh, uh, I guess here, you know, his initial, uh, like I said. And its purpose is to increase the amount of carbon dioxide exhaled. So remember, metabolic acidosis can occur from certain medical conditions not associated with respiratory disease, and that results in accumulation of hydrogen ions in the body, which decreases pH. The body can respond to this in a way which is known as respiratory compensation. So this is where the body exhales more uh, to compensate and help to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the body, which will in turn help to reduce the bicarbonate balance and reduce hydrogen ions and increase pH. Metabolic alkalosis, this is a situation where we have increased pH of the body fluids, so, so the hydrogen ion concentration has decreased. Being in the state of metabolic alkalosis can sometimes be without symptoms, although the patient can feel abnormal sensations, tachycardia, tetany and abnormal heart rhythms. It can occur with vomiting of the stomach contents or if, if you have too much alkaline medications like those which are used to treat indigestion. There can also be respiratory compensation in cases of metabolic alkalosis where we have a decrease in respiration rate to retain the carbon dioxide in the body which increases hydrogen ion formation which in turn lowers the pH to the normal range.